everybody, for this video, what we're gonna talk about is the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle acts as a shortcut to the tree diagram. So if you have a lot of things going on, you wouldn't wanna draw out a tree diagram for it. So we can use the fundamental counting principle. Basically what it says is if an item can be selected in M ways, where M represents any number, I know that sometimes with variables it gets confusing. Um, this could be five, this could be 10, this could be 217, no matter how many ways that it can be selected and another item can be selected in n ways, then both items can be selected in m times n ways. So basically all this is saying is that if you are looking for the total number of outcomes when you are selecting two items, like one of each category, then you can find the total by multiplying. Um, those values together, the ways, the number of ways that you can select it. And this can be extended for any number of selections. It doesn't matter how many times you do this. You could repeat it 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. It doesn't matter. So what I have here is an example. A menu offers five choices for an appetizer, 10 choices for an entree, and four dessert choices. And you're wondering in how many different ways can you order one of each? So how many times can I go back to this restaurant and get a different combination or a different way of ordering these items? So we're only going to select one of each. It does become more complicated if you're selecting like two of one of these, and I'll talk about that in another video that becomes combinations. Um, but if I even did combinations with one thing at a time, it would give me the same thing as the fundamental counting principle. So with this, a menu offers five choices for an appetizer. So we would just take five, um, multiply it by the number of entrees. So you have 10 for an entree and four choices for dessert. So we would just have to multiply this out. So I tend to multiply the smaller numbers together first if I don't have a calculator, so five times four is 20, and then multiplying it by 10 just makes it so that there are 200. So there are 200 possible um, ways of ordering one of each item. So, that means that you could go to this restaurant 200 times and get a different order combination for one of each of these. So with this, the fundamental counting principle, it is surprising how quickly it adds up, but it's very, very simple. All you have to do um, is multiply the total number of choices together. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know. Also, please remember to check out all of the other video content that I have because I do have quite a bit. And if you would consider subscribing, I would appreciate it.